What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so here's the deal about this whole Hugh Freeze, this whole Hugh Freeze thing. Um, I think, you know, it's been a slow morning. It's been a slow morning. I've been checking, checking, you know, Google News and Twitter and everything um, all day, every day, um, and checking all these guys' Twitters, see if they're spilling the beans on the on any news or whatever. Nothing is seeming to be coming out today. And I think that there's probably two possible reasons for that. I think the first one being that, um, you know, the, the obvious answer, Hugh Freeze is weighing his options. I believe that we, I believe that Tennessee has, a, ha, has offered him. I think that news is true. He has been offered the offense coordinating position for Tennessee. But... He's weighing his options. He's waiting to see if a head coach job becomes available, which I think is what he really wants. And people seem to think he really wants to go to Bama as well. And I mean, I guess I could see why, maybe. But really, I mean, not. I mean, I guess I can kind of. I mean, I understand it. He wants to get a ring and all that stuff and play with the best talent in the country. But I mean, I mean, I don't know. I think he his, he ultimately wants to be a head coach. I really think that's what he ultimately wants to do. Um, but I don't think anybody's going to hire him as a head coach, at least not for a few years. Because of all the PR issues, obviously, I mean, it's easier to justify him being an assistant than being a head coach. Um, so I don't really see him going anywhere for a head coach. I really think that the two most likely scenarios for him are Tennessee and Alabama. I don't think that he goes to Auburn because Gus Malzahn is obviously running the offense over there. Why would he freeze want to go there and run someone else's offense? So he's not going there. Um, I don't think he'll get a head coaching job. I think it's between Tennessee and Bama. And I don't think he's going to Bama either. And the main reason why is um, the only way he would go there for me is if Saban comes out and just pretty much blatantly says, hey, Mike Loxley, we don't want you. We want Hugh Freeze. Because I don't believe Loxley will get the Maryland head coaching job. I think everybody's kind of chalking that one up as a guarantee that he'll get that job. I don't think that they hire him. If, if, if I'm a Maryland fan, I don't approve of that hire. I mean, you know, why would you think Mike Loxley's a guy that can coach? Yeah, I mean, Bama's done decent this year. I I heard that a lot of that has to do with Hugh Freeze um, kind of giving them some secrets over over the offseason um, when Saban was trying to hire him. I don't believe Loxley's a great offensive mind. I mean, maybe he's decent, but he, was, he has one um, kind of head coaching tenure under his belt, and that was with New Mexico. Like New Mexico, New Mexico State, somebody like that, and – his record was two and twenty-six. He won two games out of twenty-eight. He won two of them. And I don't care what type of talent you have. I mean, there's no excuse to only win two games. Like, like you've got to be able to figure that out and do better than that. And not to mention, he had numerous off-the-field scandals. He had a sexual assault case brought up against him. It ended up being dropped, um, but it was brought up. He had a. Uh, and um, driving under the influence, someone was in, in, in a car under his name or something like that, driving under the influence. Um, he punched one of his assistants. I mean, you can, you combine the on-the-field performance with the off-the-field issues, and then he lost, like, a double-A school. I mean, just I don't understand why you want to hire him. And Maryland already turned him down a couple years ago when they hired Durkin. Like, uh, Loxley wanted the job then. They said, no, sir. So I don't think he's going there. Um... And so I think he's going to stay in that position. So I really think that Hugh Freeze to Tennessee is probably going to happen. I think that's going to happen. Um, the reason we haven't heard the news, like I said, Hugh Freeze is still weighing his options. And the other reason would be because I think Pruitt and Fulmer want this hire to be as impactful as possible in terms of recruiting. And so I think they're waiting for the, just the perfect time to kind of drop that bomb on us. I think it's possible an agreement has been made. But they're just waiting for the perfect time to make that announcement public. Um, and it could be during or maybe after the SC Championship game. They kind of want to let that game play out, you know, let all the hype and everything like that build up for that. And then once that's over, then kind of drop the news because that's the only thing on people's mind right now is, okay, you know, where's Hugh Freeze going to go? And kind of drop that news on them and then, you know, hopefully make it as impactful as possible. Um, and so that's why I think we're kind of waiting now. We may not have – an announcement until after the game tomorrow, maybe even Sunday, maybe even Monday. But I don't think this is as time sensitive of a hire as people want to make it out to be because I don't think Loxley is leaving Bama. 
and um, I don't think there's any other better opportunity out there for Hugh Freeze in Tennessee other than Bama. Nothing's going there. Now, if we do hire him, um, that's going to be great, obviously, to have him. But, of course, the big question mark is how long do we have him for? Because, you know, I feel like everybody knows he wants to be a head coach. I think it's going to come down to his ability to get a head coaching job. If he comes in and does well, I think more and more people are going to look past, you know, the kind of the off-the-field issues he had. And um, we're going to start to kind of offer him. He's, I think he's going to kind of jump at the bit at the first decent head coaching job he has. And so it becomes a deal for me where how long do we have him for? Is it one year, two years? Um, I think if we get two years out of him, that's great. You know, I, I mean, that's more than I'd probably expect. You hope to have him for, you know, seven, eight years. You know what I mean? Hoped uh, to uh, develop a relationship like uh, Dabble Sweeney and, 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 and Brent Venables have. Where Venables is getting all types of calls every year, but he's, he doesn't entertain any of it. You know, you, you would love for it to be that type of situation. Probably won't be. But um, I think actually the big concern is that you only get him for a year or so. And so I think if we do make this higher, it's going to be very important for us to bring in another guy or kind of decide who it's going to be that Hugh Freeze can kind of groom to call the offense once he does leave so that there's not much drop off and we can kind of pick up where we left off and keep it and kind of keep that train rolling because I mean, he's going to leave. I, mean, I feel like he's going to leave. <clears throat> it's just a matter of time, it's just a matter of when. Um, but I do think this hire is going to happen. I just, you know, I was hoping it would happen today. I thought, I thought maybe it would, but. I mean, there's been such a lack of information leaked today. I don't think it's going to happen today. I think it's going to be probably, if, if not sometime later this afternoon, then it'll probably be um, sometime after the SEC Championship game, uh, maybe tomorrow or probably, not tomorrow, probably Sunday or Monday um, is when I would expect it to happen, if not today. Um, but, yeah, man, I'll keep you guys posting everything I find out. Um, you know, I really haven't seen much of anything to suggest anything different than what we all we all already know, and that's that Tennessee has met with Hugh Freeze. Um, an offer has been extended is, you know, something that is somewhat reliable to believe. I believe it, and um, that's really about all we have right now, and that the SEC has pretty much signed off on Hugh Freeze returning to that uh, to the to the conference as a coach. There just may be some kind of recruiting restrictions for him in terms of visits and stuff like that. Um, I think that's pretty concrete as well. Other than that, I don't really think there's much concrete information out there. I'm going to keep you guys posted on it. I think Hugh Freeze is going to be our guy. I know we definitely want him, and I, I think they were his best option, so I think we'll get him. Um, but, yeah, man, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Um, do you guys have, have any information that maybe some of us don't have? I know sometimes people are connected and they know things. Um, so if you have any information, please share it. And uh, love to hear you guys' thoughts and comments.